Yo, what's going on guys? Starkstar, I'm back. Took a long ass break from this YouTube stuff, man. With school and work and I, I just said, you know what, I, I, I gotta take a break. But, gotta come back now. I mean, with all this hype shit that Nintendo just dropped on us, my boy, like, what the fuck is this? Alright, so let's talk about this Nintendo NX real quick. Or, or uh, I'm sorry, Nintendo, Nintendo Switch is the official name, right? <laughs> so, I, this this is crazy. I was I was eating lunch or I guess breakfast I guess at school, and and I was on uh, Discord with the guys and I was I was freaking out or I was screaming and shit. Totally forgot where I was for a, for a clean two and a half three minutes, and it was it was it was crazy. It was, it, it was pretty good. It was pretty good for three minutes. They did a lot better than I thought they would. You know this could have been a lot worse. This 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 could have been a really really shit three minute trailer that they gave us, but. They they pretty much knocked it out. I don't, I, they couldn't have been clearer on what the system is. It couldn't have been more informative in terms of games. I was I was surprised at how many games they showed. But let's start off with the name Nintendo Switch, right? I don't love it. I don't hate it. it it's all right. It's not bad. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. It also could have been a lot better. I would have stuck with the Nintendo NX, but you know, obviously they want the, the name of the console to you know kind of represent what you can do with it you can switch between a home console and a, and a, and a, a hybrid like mobile game tablet type thing it was cool that's fine i don't have any problems with that so nintendo switch is a name that's cool thumbs up hopefully people I, I you can't confuse it with their last system so there's no excuse that oh i thought it was peripheral for the wii u i mean some people probably will still make that assumption just because just there's a tablet with a screen on there but I think for for the <laughs> the non retards out there, most people will be able to decipher. Okay, this is a new system. It doesn't have Wii. It doesn't have Wii U in it. it. Just says Nintendo Switch. Completely different. So thumbs up for not going down that Wii route again. Thank God. Uh, next, probably the, my most exciting uh, bit about this whole uh, trailer was was the games that they showed. Bethesda is is with them I, when i saw skyrim on screen i lost my shit i was there's no i could not believe that nintendo and and, and a company like like bethesda are actually working together <laughs> and 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 partnering together to get this game on their plat that blew my mind that just opens the door for possibilities man just imagine if if people like bethesda are on board with this thing who else do you think nintendo talked to i remember there was a picture that um that they're really showing all their I don't know if it was all of them or just most of them or some of them it was a big picture of uh, a bunch of their partners that, that they have going on for uh, for the Nintendo uh, switch and a, a lot from software Ubisoft Square Enix Bethesda you know a lot of these huge big third party um these big huge third party developers are developing for this console so honestly, that's a really, really good sign. It's really nice to see all those developers that we didn't see at all last year. Like, like a lot of those devs, we didn't see them at all last year. We didn't see them talk about the Wii U, barely mentioning the Wii U at all. And sure, they didn't bring any games to it. So it's really nice to see them um, even tweeting out. But that's what they even tweeted out. Oh, we're so excited to be partnered with Nintendo. Can't wait to see uh, what this holds for our games and all that. It was great. That's really good stuff. But at the same time, we still got to be cautious because we did see a lot. Of, we did see a similar picture like this uh, back in 2011 when uh, Nintendo uh, unveiled their Wii U and showed that off for the first time. So this isn't the first time we've seen pictures, you know, a picture like this with a bunch of devs on, on screen. So we got to be cautious about that. We got to support these guys if, you know, they're actually coming out with these, uh, like, decent games. If they're coming out with decent games, y'all niggas need to support them. Like, I, I, I don't see them not dropping support they will drop support fast as fuck if y'all don't support them of course i'm gonna be i'm not even a huge skyrim fan i'm not a huge i i do like it i do like big rpgs like that but i'm not a huge skyrim fan but i'm gonna fucking buy this shit <laughs> like i'm gonna buy skyrim on the fucking switch i want to support these third party games because we want i want more of them you know i want more of these games to come to this system that i like and the best way to do that is to buy them so hopefully they don't come out broken and half-assed hopefully they come out as complete and you know fully functioning games and if so then i don't see a reason why we can't support them all right all right cool next point definitely have to be the way it looks so uh i was i was actually watching it with with ultra right and and as soon as we were done i i, I immediately switched over to francis and and super metal dave stream and <laughs> the the look like I, I i was i was i was on board with them i was thinking this was gonna i, I didn't think this was gonna be you know a tegra based uh console with 
you know, detachable controllers. I, I did not think Nintendo was going to do this. Um, so when I was watching Super Metal Day's video, you know, like the look on his face, he was like, fuck. <laughs> was like, no, it was, it was hilarious. So, but shout out to those guys. Those guys are great. I, I, I totally did not think it was going to be like this. I thought, um, I thought it was going to be, you know, AMD based, uh, console with, you know, a more traditional style. I didn't think they were going to go for this portable shit. I thought it was going to be more. More home console focus than than what it is, but don't get me wrong. I'm still super excited about what they showed. The level that you can play, you know, the the scale that you can play these games out on the on the go is amazing, and that's what I'm super super hyped for. That and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be great, but still, it is kind of funny that because <laughs> everyone like Super Metal Dave and, and Francis from Player Essence were so against <laughs> Emily Rogers with, with good reason too and I was totally on their side I was totally in that camp of there's no way it's gonna be a you know a detachable controller console slash hybrid type thing I was totally with them on that but turned out we were wrong so gotta take what we can get and honestly I'm still really excited this was a really good trailer so in terms of the way it looks I like it you know not what I wanted you know in terms of being a Nintendo home console focused thing but who knows? This might just turn out to be even better. You know what I'm saying? It looks really good. The console is nice and small and sleek. It doesn't look stupid. It doesn't look like a fucking Big Mac. It don't look. Like, <laughs> it doesn't look like a fucking weight scale that you put in your bathroom. This looks like a really sleek 2017 looking console. It looks really, really good. And I'm, I, I like the way it looks. It looks great. Uh, we don't really know too much more than than that. Um, what other games did they really show? They showed NBA, which is good. So EA is bringing, or, or not, yeah, 2K. They're on board with this too. Uh, I'm sure EA was on board. If Bethesda is on board, I'm pretty sure EA is on board too. Um, so that's really good. Square Enix, they have got to be bringing Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy. I, I, I just don't see why they won't. Those games are definitely, they have to come. They've got to come. I, I, I don't know when. I don't know if it's going to be the same time. Final Fantasy should definitely be an option uh, at this point. So maybe, who knows, probably after it launches on the other system. Uh, I'm so fucking excited. God damn it. Fuck. All right. So <laughs> after it launches on the other system, I'm sure that it will be announced for the uh, for the Switch, which, which will be cool. I want. I really want Kingdom Hearts 3. If that comes, I, I'm selling my PS4. I'm After Horizon comes out next year, I'm probably going to sell my PS4. Right before there, the Switch comes out and just get that. Because if Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy comes out, those I'll, I'll wait for Final Fantasy. I'll play it on on the Switch next year. I'll, I can wait. I can wait. I I can fucking wait. So I'll probably end up doing that, which is gonna be pretty cool. So yeah, this is looking really fucking good, my boys. I'm not gonna go on too long for this video. It's already been eight and a half minutes. So I'm gonna let y'all go. Thank you all so much for watching. I, I can't wait for more details to come out. I want to know when the next uh, Nintendo Direct is, when they're going to do like a full-blown, in-depth reveal of the system. This trailer was great, but we need more details. We need to know exact, exactly how strong this custom Tegra chip is that's inside this console. I want to know how fucking long this battery life is, and I want to know how, I really want to know how, how strong the system is, because that's going to determine third-party support in the future. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.